Gemini. Ooh, lots of changes in the air, Gemini. This is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries. Tarot, it's a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Watch and wait. Mm. Something certainly to be learned from the past or something you have been waiting for is about to manifest. So let's get into it. This is a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. It is your message, Gemini. Um, it's a timeless message. I don't associate my readings with any specific dates, but I will mention specific dates within the reading if it's appropriate. And then you, whenever you watch it, you should go back and reference like what was happening to you at that time. This being said, I do make a new reading every single week. So please, Gemini, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. Select all notifications so that you will know when I upload your favorite content. Um, if you're looking for personal readings, I actually do do those. So please check out my website at bornwithoutboundariestarot.com and then just choose a service that's right for you. I don't have any open slots this week, but I do have open availability next week. So if you need the help, I am here for you. Um, sorry about that. Um, and then one more announcement. Yeah, so the BWOB membership, we're now doing an abundance share, which means the more of you that participate, the more of you can benefit from it, um, not just from all of the valuable things that come with membership, like unlimited access to my extended readings, but also um, a new abundance share, which is every equinox, which means the spring equinox is coming up on March 20th, and every solstice, four times a year then, I do an abundance share. And what that is, is three, at least three lucky winners from the BWOB members will get cash prizes. That's right sent to you via cash app and you still have a chance to join so you can join anybody by that signed up by march 19th will be a participant in the march 20th drawing so be sure you sign up now let's go Okay, Gemini. This is a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is an energy reading. Um, we started out with watch and wait. And look at all of this that's coming out. This is Piscean energy. Okay. All right. So there's something that you've sort of been knowing is coming. All right. All right. Or you've been expecting something to finally work out. Okay, and then we have be loyal to what you love. This is Cancerian energy, lots of water energy so far. So watch and wait. So you've been steadfast. There's an energy here with you being steadfast, being certain, being sure. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to catch up. And then we have let it shine. Holy moly, we now have a water sign trifecta, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Holy moly, let it shine. So this week there is something you are going to be able to announce, especially a loyalty or a commitment. Maybe you're announcing some commitment. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for the right time. What Spirit is trying to tell you in these cards is this is the right time. And since it's all water, it's very intuitive. It's very... It's very um, kind of destined, like you've been, you've been feeling it out, okay? And then we have lay a solid foundation. You've been waiting for the right time to know when you can plant that cornerstone. And this is it. This is Virgo energy. So it is bringing something that was concept into reality and it's a great time to lay that foundation or to break that ground especially if you have that that disciplined sense of i'm going to stick to this but i think the most important message so far is that something that was just concept up to now is now breaking into reality becoming something tangible let's look at the past 
So we have time for a deep dive that is very romantic Venus energy. So you see that six is the number of Venus energy. Um, it's uh, Libran, this card for me. And we also have Aries. <laughs> because that's where the north and south node is now these are diametric opposites but also complements we have be fearless and bold in aries energy and of course we have four and then we have six plus zero is six together it adds up as something complete so you were waiting for someone or something to be ready to come together so that there would even maybe realize okay but we're complete together we need each other we complement each other this is independence and self-motivation and self-realization um versus or complementing partnership and togetherness be fearless and bold and time for a deep dive you knew this was going to happen you've been waiting for this to happen intuitively it's been building and growing and being nurtured bam this is the week that you announce it or this is the week that it's going to be announced and then future we have transformation is beautiful this is the 11 energy um, this is a dawning, this is an awakening, it's a leveling up, it's transferring into a better version of yourself. So this is like the becoming, the debut, this is the, then we have the announcement, <laughs> and then we have the build up, the announcement, and the debut um, of something even better, maybe even in some ways a renovation or something that's going to improve you and make your life better. And then we have, oh, two cards. Cancerian energy, be at home and be playful, which to me says that there's definitely something to celebrate, but in a comfortable way, in a way of you're celebrating with family and friends, um, comfortable, happy, playful. This is Gemini Cancer energy. So this could actually be a timeline, right? The timeline being Gemini Cancer season, which we grow closer to. We're, we're almost in Aries season already, so not really a big deal. This is the beginning. That would be the end of spring, beginning of summer. We're at the end of winter, beginning of spring right now. So in about three months' time, this transformation is happening. Um, let's, get into the, let's get into the tarot card reading then. Okay. You want to do a six card spread? Let's see if that will come out. I usually don't do that because it's a little too fixed for me, but I want to see something to do with motherhood or maternal energy and abundance. Could be motherhood. This is also abundance. A mother figure. Perfect trifecta. And then we have happiness in family and happiness at home celebrating good news of some sort um okay gemini this is gemini energy we have more independence this is maybe virgo energy this is a lot of support is coming in for you or you knew that something was coming and it could be somebody that you're married to you knew that something was building up you knew that something was coming and so there is a sense of you being able to prepare a support system or a support network for your person this could be a virgo or just somebody who is very pure-hearted hard-working um you want to defend them. There's some sort of defense here, right? Wanting to protect them. Wanting to protect your family and their happiness as well. You may be wanting to even stick by them, stand by them. This is, yeah, friendship. Surround More three, another three. Surrounding yourself with support, celebration. You could be celebrating something. Somebody's accomplishments. Maybe even money or a cash out is coming to you so that things are going to be okay and you know you have enough to support yourselves. Um, hold on. Yeah, hold on. 
feel like those are on their own. I need one more card. And two of wands, which means you are able to go in a different direction. What this tells me is you've been preparing yourself for a while to be supportive and and deal with a situation straight on, head on. Um, you have the resources to be able to do it. And there is a defensiveness about it, but you're going to celebrate it because somebody is really prepared. So it's not like you're going to be left out of sorts or even in surprise. This is actually a beautiful period in your life, whether you realize it or not. Um, it's transformative and it kind of had to happen. It's going to kind of push somebody into the next stage of their life. There is finances and financial resources that are coming in that you sh that should protect you, right? And help you to just sort of enjoy this transitional time. Um, some big announcement is coming and it will announce some sort of change in direction. Let's see what these cards have because it's still coming out in the future future. This is Piscean energy. It has to do with the moon. So things could still be hidden or in flux. Also, a lot of emotions attached to this situation. I think it's the eclipse because I immediately thought of the eclipse when it came to this resurrective energy. Um, that's just a, a finality and that push. It's also the beginning of a new kind of push in your life or new direction in your life since the eclipse the solar eclipse is going to happen in Aries. This is lunar eclipse. So that's happening soon. That's on March 25th. So there is, okay, let, let's get a little bit more into that. This is Cancerian energy too. I'm going to, are you falling in love or something? Because it's almost like whatever was hidden. It's like, it's like maybe you've been keeping something secret, but secretive to protect somebody or secretive as in they haven't known that you've been working on this but it's going to it, it, you're going to you're going to be able to help them help them it's like you've been preparing in secret um we have pisces cancer energy so this is once again very intuitive and very um psychic this is two of cups which is a psychic connection or you saw this coming you saw you saw two parties getting together or coming together maybe people who were fiercely independent or you were guarded fiercely independent this is definitely a story of people who were fiercely independent but you could see it from a mile away you knew eventually it was going to add up to being together it was between this aries and libra energy and certainly that has to do with all the moons and eclipses and the nodes that are happening right now this was an inevitable inevitability of going from somebody who is independent to somebody who is now together with or officially connected with somebody else, somebody who will defend somebody else and work in congruency with somebody else, building a family out together. You're, this is a big change in your direction, but ultimately it is the right change because it will bring it on home and secure progress, Gemini, and it'll actually kind of make things fun and playful, things that you can really get behind and and, and feel secure or feel good about um, happy news it's like happy news bringing happy news home I, I need more details I think you do too but let's get a moon card no let's get some details first and then get a moon card can I get some deets please God bring it on home for us three of cups it's a celebration it's something to be happy about it's almost like something everybody is really happy about and what is this something six of cups you've been waiting for these two people to get together forever and now i'm not even sure it's happening to you i just feel like you're the one that predicted it and maybe even had something to do with bringing it together or bringing it about because it's almost like celebrating maybe a family a, a, a wedding you're going to a celebration celebrating two people that you've known for a long time celebrating friends some sort of celebration of friends it could even be at their wedding but i think this is finally two people are making something official or getting together when it's like about time because we've all been waiting for this to happen and it is finally happening and honestly gemini best choice you could have made all day instead of being in independent it's almost like we could see this from a mile away luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius so 
This is about innovating and being open to innovating and doing the new thing and being open to doing that new thing. Be bold and make the first move. Take the initiative. Luck is on your side wherever you aim that arrow right now. Be bold and make the first move is certainly you should shoot that arrow because it's a good time to do it. And you're very close to achieving your goals. It's the time is ripe. <laughs> the arrow is going to land in the right place. What are these goals? So windy here where I am. I have the windows wide open because I love the wind. But what are these goals? Financial. It's got to do something with financial. Somebody attacking your finances. Somebody uh, attacking your financial security or institutions that were about to lose money. Um, Knight of Cups. This is just faith. You had faith in the situation that you knew something was going to crumble or come apart. You knew it. And in some weird way, it's almost like you were happy about it. Emperor is here. Um, so this is forging a new path or taking on your own personal authority or personal leadership. Finding faith in yourself or by airy season, which is really not too long from now, it's about a week from now, um, taking the initiative to move forward on your own um, or helping somebody move forward on their own. Um, it's almost like you're orchestrating this. If there are two people getting together, you certainly got them together. Or you, if this was about you, you knew it was going to happen eventually. Well, now it's saying now this is when you take action or this is when the action is taken to physically bring this from concept into reality. That's what it's saying. Okay. Feel free to leave. Oh, oh. oh, sloppy all over the place. Hanged man is here. You're sick of waiting. You don't want to wait anymore. I'm coming to pieces here. Um, and then this was on the floor. This is that new moon. And four of pentacles. You knew. There, there was some... It's almost like... There was some destabilization coming, especially to the finances. And because you predicted this and saw this, but, but it's almost like you're happy. I don't know if something's falling apart or getting wrecked, but if so, you're going to be really freaking happy or you're getting back your money. Intuitively, you knew something was a good investment because whatever the initial loss was, eventually watch and wait. You knew this would all come around. You knew it, you knew it, you knew it. So I feel like I'm the one that doesn't know it. So what? You know it, but what is it, God? A change in the wind. And this, all it's saying all over and over and over again, Gemini, you're correct. The winds are going to change. And it looks like they're changing your way to offer up solutions and freedom. And whatever preparations you've been taking in the dark, you're going to be prepared and sitting pretty. That's all I'm trying to say. Let's go to the extended. I'll see you guys there.